Hi there, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take the portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. And remember to check out your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these style of readings. Scorpio, I'm truly grateful for your support on my channel. The likes, the subscribes, and the comments. Keep them coming. I can answer questions. Now today, you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck. One card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and one Divine Feather message. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a fire energy card ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or Sagittarius could be in your chart. This is a turn. It's a turn of luck. And it could be for the better. It has to do with your fate and destiny. This is karmic. It could be unexpected. It's a creative evolution within the laws of chance. It's a new chapter starting. It's destiny and fortune and elevation and luck. This is Jupiter and Capricorn. Now this situation is going to change on its own accord now. It's beyond your control. It's a surprise. It's something that's been put into motion and now you have little or no control. So you must accept the actions of the forces of destiny and align yourself with their aims. These are changing circumstances and usually for the better and it's going to promote your growth and advancement. Maybe you're becoming aware of cycles, cause and effect. You could be becoming aware of patterns. This could be a new chapter starting now, and it's out of your control. That is a yod there on the wheel, representing divine influence. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. You may or may not be aware of this. This is what is crossing you. It could be bringing in some tension, or it can even be an obstacle. But it's not a bad card. The Three of Wands, Fire Energy. This is Aries. Aries could be in your chart. Now, the Three of Wands always represents us from our point of view. And that is someone that's waiting on something that's already been set into motion. A decision's been made, and now this is the realization of hope and expectation waiting for those ships to come in. Ships always have to do with any kind of ships, relationships, um, friendships. This is working on already established patterns and preparing, preparing for what is to come. Could even be travel, and that could be long distance travel, or someone could be distant. This is, could be someone that's waiting for that perfect moment. It's a project that's about to be completed. And even though something's been achieved, there's still some more to do yet. But your efforts are being rewarded, and, and you're being hopeful and anticipating. And success is on the horizon. It's sorting out what you want to achieve and what others are expecting of you. What are your actions bringing about? What have you failed to get done or left out? Who is waiting for you? Where are you headed? Success is on the way. This can be networking, planning, travel, and optimism. It's already in the process of growth, and there's a release of tension, and then you can be productive. Three of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune is expanding a business. It could even be publishing. It's an unexpected new door opens that you've been waiting for. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. This can be an outside influence. This could also be your attitude. 
Number four of pentacles, earth energy. This is Capricorn energies. Capricorn could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is someone that's being conservative. They're trying to balance. They're being cautious and they want to be stable. They're holding on and they're being defensive in their comfort zone. They're saving, being cautious, protecting their money and their boundaries. But the foundation is firm. This is someone holding back. They're holding on to their gold and then they risk nothing, but nor do they gain anything. This can apply to anything anyone holds dear. Also being a miser with love and emotions as well as money. You can relax about something that you are protective about and take a risk and get things moving again. Someone may see you as a keeper who is balanced and they take care. This is someone that may be keeping something in. They can be stubborn and they hold on to what they know. But there is a danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. So the advice is to be generous in wealth and spirit. So security and control are uppermost in your thoughts at this time. This can also represent vampiric energy as someone may be trying to steal your blessings. The Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Pentacles is stubborn resoluteness. is the right choice to make. This is also a praise for loyalty. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Scorpio, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone that's nurturing, and they're focused on that stability. This is someone that's domestic. They're practical and capable and orderly. This is someone that is generous and benevolent. And they respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money that they distribute or offer or loan you. This represents security and fertility. This can be someone's mother or someone nurturing like a mother. And it can represent harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing. They're down to earth. They're healthy. They're a homemaker, a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things. They love nature and children and animals. And they're affectionate and caring. And they know how to manage money. This can be contemplation and help given of a practical nature. It has to do with material concerns and safety. And this person teaches us that what is cherished must be cared for. It's someone that puts a high value on stability. And they may not be saying or showing what they feel. Someone may need to take some time to consider all options before proceeding. The Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Pentacles is being realistic with your generosity. It's taking your sweet time. And you could be winning something tangible. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Scorpio. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, more divine energy coming through. This is a gift, a gift from the universe. It is a gateway card. This is prosperity. It's a healthy beginning, new money, new success stability and potential. It's the beginning of gain, a new opportunity. It's the beginning of pleasure and beauty, and this is a seed to be nurtured. This is an opportunity for real growth and the beginning of a new project. It can be a birth, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This can be a new job opportunity or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home and begin building the foundation for the future. And ground yourself and spend some time in nature and you'll find fresh inspiration. This could be a new beginning in a financial situation, a contract, 
Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. It just does not land in your lap. This is divine guidance from the universe, and it could be recognizing your calling as your fate and chance. Each one of us is uniquely good at something. This is saying yes to love, and it's a positive reward for hard work. It can also represent a lump sum of money or a gift. But remember to ground yourself through proper nutrition, exercise, and rest and leisure activities. And for love, this is a fresh start, and you will feel blessed and secure in this relationship. The, the Ace of Pentacles is like having a mini sun in your reading, Scorpio. This brings in a grounding influence and luck and recognition and the realization that you are on the correct path. The Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Pentacles is a grand major opportunity. It's receiving just rewards. It's a positive turn of luck. It could even be an inheritance. This could be a business opportunity coming your way. So take the chance and uh, try not to let it pass you by. The Three of Wands with the Four of Pentacles is taking a risk due to being overly optimistic about the return that you think that's going to come in. It's holding on, hoping that your ship will come in. The Three of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing. This can be a successful home business. It's nurturing your creative plans for your home. The Three of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles is durable opportunities coming in. It's actively collecting money from your work or even publishing. It's trade and commerce. The Four of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles is hoarding belongings. This is someone that is very possessive, and they're very frugal. These are practical abilities that create abundance in its comfort in the home and at work. The Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands is wanting more money, so hanging on to what you have, and it's having control of your new money. The Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles is inner satisfaction. It can be a new project. It's guidance and love and money. It's a home move and finance management. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 25. Round and round, Scorpio. Why do I think this is going to be like the Wheel of Fortune? Round and round. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated, integrated, cycles you are challenged to break, revising a pattern from a new perspective. And the Oracle's message is the appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is, is that you're standing at a higher level, looking down into your circumstances. Well, there's a three of wands. He's looking out and down. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and the lessons learned. Here's the relationship message. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar? Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with some sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of Spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine, as you get to do things again, only differently this time. For you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. Here's the prosperity message. If you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it's because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives that you have and your attraction to the opportunities and the people who have entered your life to be a part of your journey to prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them? When you find yourself in a repeat pattern of the past, 
It's a good time to get a coach or a mentor who can help you see that what you can't on your own. Repeat what works, not what doesn't. Then you will free yourself from the old cycles and cease going round and around. Here's your Divine Feather message from Allison D. Nicola. And this is the feather of the Kingfisher, Scorpio. Kingfisher. Prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. Prosperity is flowing, Scorpio. There are many myths and legends about the ancient origins of the intriguing Kingfisher. One tale indicates that the Kingfisher was the first bird Noah released from the ark after the flood. Flying high to the edge of the sun, the Kingfisher absorbed the blue color of the sky. From his story, the Kingfisher has come to be associated with the promise of new warmth and abundance. Kingfisher feathers were carried in the old world as good luck charms. Kingfisher is a bold bird that fishes for its food, drawing new opportunities out of the waters. Connecting with the energy of this bird supports the manifestation of new abundance, just like that Ace of Pentacles. And the message from Kingfisher is, they dive into your awareness with the promise of abundance and prosperity, urging you to have faith to take the plunge. This divine messenger is a reminder that prosperity comes in many forms. New love, warmth, and opportunities are among the favored gifts. This feather messenger is also indicates that luck is with you. Stop trying so hard to create. Just allow the natural flow of abundance to come to you. Prepare by being open to receive, and the gifts of prosperity are now assured. And the energies are prosperity, luck, and new warmth. That's really good, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in and by commenting or liking and subscribing. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.